Okay, this video assumes you have Android Studio installed already, so I'm going to start it up. And we'll create our first Android virtual device in a couple of minutes. When you're ready, click on your tools menu and choose the AVD manager and click on create virtual device. So there are a lot of pre-configured devices, but what you want to remember is that you choose one of the devices that have the Google Play Store available because that's what you need to install, for example, the company portal app and enroll the device in Intune. Click on next when you're ready. I'll go for Android 11, but if you want to choose another version, just download it and go for that one. When you're ready, click on next again. Give your device a name, choose your startup orientation, change some of the advanced features if you want, I'll leave it as it is right now, and click on finish when you're ready. That's it, you've created your first Android virtual device. Let's start it up. Okay, it starts with a very big screen at first, but I guess it's okay for the demo. If you want to change the size of the uh, virtual device, click on the menu, go to settings, slide this one over here to the right. So you have a window frame around the device. Now you can resize it to any size you want. And when you're ready, uh, I like to hide the, the window frame. Let's close that one up. In the meantime, the device is booting. And when it's ready, you can use it like any physical device you have. There it is. Your device is ready. Let's slide it up for the applications. And if you want to start with the Play Store, you need to sign in with a Google account and then you can install the applications. But that's for another video. For now, I'm going to shut down the device by holding the power button down until this menu appears and then I'll click on power off and the device will shut down. Now if you run into trouble with your virtual device you can um, for example wipe all the data, uh, delete it and start over again uh, give it a cold boot if you have to, uh, but when everything's working fine, you, you can even duplicate the device right from here. Okay, that's it for now. The next video will show you how to install the Company Portal app and enroll a virtual device in Microsoft Endpoint Manager or Intune.